Hello, my beautiful and resourceful teachers. Welcome back to another session of Teacher Tutorial with Shayla. Today, we're going to look at how we can create, or as a matter of fact, how we can use our customized Fitmoji Classroom as our virtual background in Microsoft Teams. If you take note, I'm already in a Meet in Microsoft Teams and I am already using a background. This is actually a background that came with Microsoft Teams. But let's say you wanted to use your Bitmoji Classroom as your background. That's easy and simple to use. So the first step is to go to the More Actions button. Okay, so that's the three dots and we wanna to toggle, well, tap, click on it. And then when we get there, we're going to see this beautiful toolbar basically shows up. And so we want to go to show background effects. Now, these are the backgrounds that were generated by, by Microsoft Teams. And so you can select any one of those backgrounds. If you haven't created your Bitmoji Classroom, or you can go ahead and add a new Bitmoji Classroom. So if you scroll down, you see that I've already added a few Bitmoji Classrooms. So you can go to the Add New button. All of the Bitmojis, banners, as well, whatever you have saved, okay, on your computer. And so you can go ahead and search for a Bitmoji Classroom. I'm going to look for one that I haven't used as yet. So I found one that I've I'm going to use, I'm going to select it, then I'm going to click open. And once I've clicked open, you're going to wait for it to show up. So this is my Bitmoji classroom. I'm going to select it and then I wanna say apply. So once I've applied the Bitmoji um, banner, I'm going to turn on my camera so that you can see me in my Bitmoji classroom. Now I am super close to the camera. And so the students are able to see you. Now you as the teacher, let's say if your students are kind of iffy about sharing their background, you can also share with them other Bitmoji classroom back, backgrounds that they can use as their virtual backgrounds as well. Okay, that's completely up to you teachers. So I'm hoping that you found this tutorial super helpful. If you did, go ahead and share this with all of your teacher friends. And I do hope that I would see you in the next video. And teacher, don't forget that you're loved, you're great, and you are doing a wonderful job. Mm -hmm.